God, and we come to you in the name of Jesus, who is Lord, Christ our King. We thank you that in your presence there is fullness of joy, and at your right hand pleasures forevermore. And we thank you for our country. Oh, I don't hear you. Say it by faith. We win. We win. We win. And we thank you that you've raised up a man, Donald J. Trump, to be a warrior for the word of God and the wisdom that comes from God. Trump won. Trump won. Trump won. Trump wins. Trump wins. Trump wins. They lose. They lose. They lose. And thank you for protecting him for keeping yes. your hand of blessing upon him. And we pray, pray as you raise him up once again to be our president, that you would give him strength and wisdom and joy in the journey. I'm here in the spirit of God, speak to me. He's, man, he's talking real loud in my ear, I'm serious. You know what's gonna protect and, and fulfill the plan of God, all the prophecies? Is if we go to the voting booth and we have the spirit of Ferez. Get back here, you foul yeah. loonies. Here, you're not gonna have your way. And we vote right. Amen. Father God, right now, as I pray over President Trump, I thank you that you secure his life, his calling, his purpose, that no weapon formed against him will be able to prosper, and a thousand will fall at his side and ten thousand is his right hand, but it will not come nigh him. I saw Trump rising up, and then I saw an attempt on his life. Uh, that w the, this bullet flew by his ear and it came so close to his head that it busted his drum eardrum and I saw um, he was he fell to his knees during this time frame and he started worshiping the Lord he got radically born again during this time frame I'm talking people say he's saved now but he becomes really on fire for Jesus for what I saw coming we're gonna pray right now over President Trump's ear and the others as well. So let's start with him. Put your hand over your ear. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray over Mr. Trump right now. And we thank you for an accelerated healing process. Lord, I thank you that Jesus healed an ear. Well, he can do it right now with President Trump. And God, we believe that you have chosen Donald Trump as an instrument in your hands for this purpose. However, our enemies are trying to steal, kill, and destroy our America. So we need you to intervene. And we break the power. We break the power of the homosexual, lesbian spirits yes. that are trying to ruin our children right. and ruin this nation. Get down from there. We sit by the throne. You are under our feet. We secure his family, his children, his calling, and everything that pertains to what you have called him to carry out. And I ask for divine visitations, that you would continue to give him your wisdom. We know that President Donald Trump does not have a perfect character, but if we look at the Bible, God uses men like Moses, who was a murderer. God uses men like David, who was a murderer. God uses men like the Apostle Paul, who was a murderer. If you're a Christian out there, I want to encourage you to tell your pastor publicly from the pulpit that they can speak and endorse Donald J. Trump because our country was founded on religious liberty. And we pray for our nation. And Father, if it be thy will that President Trump will win this election, we pray this in Jesus' name. May God arise as the Lord of the breakthrough over this country. In the coming days, at our scheduled election and thereafter, yes. we seal it, we call it forth, Lord of the Breakthrough, come now in Yeshua's name. Give Amen. God a big shout. Amen. Then I saw people interceding when he, and I see him, I saw him winning the, the presidency uh, through great, uh, the Lord showed me it would go clear into the, the summer, great persecution would come on him through the judges and through the, um, through the law and all these people trying to sue him and all this stuff. God, would you raise up godly judges that would restore integrity to our judicial system. Now we seek you for the protection for President Trump and his family and his team. Judges, sheriffs, That's right. mayors, city managers, college presidents, 
those that refuse to hold to your will and do it, remove them and put someone in there that will. I read a lot about George Washington, right? One of our, one of our founding fathers. And, and, the, and the people that were trying to kill him said, this man cannot be taken down by a bullet because the hand of God is on him. And, that is, and, and he believed 100% that God was the, the defining factor on not only what kept him alive, but to become our first president. And we're seeing that too with Donald Trump. No, no man could withstand the persecution that he's been only by the hand of God. But there would be a stop to it, and there things would start to, to, to break free, come toward the fall. And then I saw him winning uh, the election uh, through uh, the patriots coming out and voting. It will ultimately come down to how we side with God in the womb, over the matters of the womb that caused breakthrough to come and protect and fulfill the plan of God. For this is one nation under God, a liberty and justice for all. And we are going to get it back and some, and we're going to recover it all for our kids, our grandkids, and the future grandkids of this nation. And Father, we just bless uh, Donald J. Trump and we bless J.D. Vance, we bless the entire families, and we bless everybody that's here in the name of Jesus Christ. And we just thank you for our fighter of faith and for freedom and for religion, God, and most of all, for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we give you all the praise and all the glory. Pastor Jensen and uh, Pastor Travis, Pastor Jensen, I know you'll close it out here. So they're going to do whatever they're going to do to try to stop him. But the hand of God is upon Donald Trump's life. And we, the people, are raising him up. And so he is the, he is the, the nation's champion. And to be honest with you, the world needs Donald Trump back because a strong America is a strong world. And well, we, we saw there was, there was no right. wars uh, when he was yes, president. Exactly. But, but exactly. Will, he, will he, if he becomes, and he probably will become president, will he then change the laws and go for the enemies who were trying to get him before well, I mean, the president's already made it very clear that when we're back in power, we're going to go after those who have misused the yeah. government for their own personal vendetta. Not putting your check mark next to those who want at their conventions, kill more babies, kill more babies, like Waltz and Harris. But this is the first time that I've publicly been able to talk about this word from God that I've received, and I want to give it to you. And we're going to talk together about it, Todd. The first point is, she is a daughter of lies. And instead of having the disaster and the horrific thing that we're in now with October 7th, that would have never happened under President Trump's watch. Because it says, deliver us from evil. And when you ask God to deliver you from evil and he provides the mechanism to be delivered from evil and you don't use it, you are mocking God and you're mocking the Lord's prayer. So, Father, we are asking you for election integrity. And we are asking that you would put a stop to the unjust, unfair attacks on President Trump through our courts. And I picked up his ear and put it back. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and it was like it had never happened. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. And the ministering spirits that my servant prayed for are the ones that deflected that bullet. Just enough. Thank you, Jesus. Just enough. Just enough. For it was impossible for them to kill him. Do you know that when conservative Catholics and socially conservative Catholics who are faithful to the church and evangelicals come together, we are 38% of the electorate. That is bigger than the Hispanic, Black, and Union vote all together. Turn to somebody, say, we can do this. Be healed, be whole, be delivered now in the name of Jesus. And this will declare a mighty testimony of the goodness of God in Jesus' name. If you're a Christian out there, we are just one vote away from revival. Rallies and positive poll numbers are not going to win this election. It's going to be God.